Hello there. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this specific training, I want to tell you about a new integration between Foam Burner and the Go High Level CRM. Now, this integration was not built by Foam Burner, it was built by the team over at the Marketers Toolkit for Go High Level using the Foam Burner API and the Go High Level API. And what I want to do is I want to take a moment here to show you how simple it is to take advantage of this integration once you've got everything configured. So here you can see I'm looking at a list of contacts in my Go High Level account. And of course, I've got the integration already configured. So what I can do here is I can select the records that I want to call. Once I've made my selection, I can click this phone burner button to launch a dial session. But before I do that, I want to comment on this enable contact sync during call. I highly recommend that you keep this selected because well, you'll find out here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and click that button to begin the phone burner session. Here, as you see the dial session window loads, the contact screen in the background has updated to show me the first contact that's going to be called. And that's why you want to keep that box checked so that as you're making calls, the CRM will stay up to date with where you're at in the dial session window. Now let's update our settings here. I'm going to go ahead and choose a phone script. I can choose my dialing and live answer sets. These are the buttons that I'm going to see as I'm making calls using phone burner. I can also choose my voicemail. See with phone burner, I can instantly drop a voicemail without listening to the entire greeting or waiting for the beep. I just need to choose which voicemail I want to use for this specific session. Now today's Friday, so I'm going to choose my Friday voicemail. I can also choose my caller ID, whether or not I want to pause and preview or record calls. Now I'm all set. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Now I just need to get connected to the system. So I'm going to click on the grant mic access in my particular case. You might be dialing in. Now that I'm connected, you can see the first contact ready to go is Sally Prospect, which also happens to be the contact listed over here. So let's go ahead and start dialing. Now, once we start to call Sally, if Sally answers the phone, great, we talk to her. But if it goes to voicemail, we don't have to listen to the entire greeting. As soon as we know it's a voicemail, we click that button and we're off to the next call. And here we are on our next call. Now, of course, if they answer live, there's no pause, no delay, no awkward silence. You just start talking to them. Now, I do want to point out that we are up to date in the contact manager. So here we are looking at Jeff and JG live sample. And so if we need to access any specific information related to these contacts, we can do that right here in the contact manager of Go High Level. Now in phone burner, I'm going to click on live answer. When I'm done talking to them, I'm going to end the call. Now I can take as much time as I want to update this record back in the CRM, make sure that everything's good to go. And then when I'm ready to move on to the next call, I can click on the appropriate disposition based off of the specific outcome that I achieved on this call. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this one as set appointment and we're off. So now we're calling Sally sample. And as you can see, the contact manager has updated to show Sally's details while I'm moving on in the dial session. Again, if it goes to voicemail, I can click that voicemail button and I'm off to the next call, off to George Sample. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as live answer and end the call just so I can get that demo contact to stop talking in my ear, right? So let's talk about this. Now when you're using phone burner, there are a lot of features that you can take advantage of. One of those is caller ID. You can have the system dynamically changing the caller ID as you're moving from one call to the next. We can also trigger emails and text messages based off of call outcomes. So each one of these dispositions could potentially trigger an email and a text message. And of course, text messaging, there is additional verification that you need to go through to get approval to send those text messages. But with phone burner, you can really save a tremendous amount of time powering through your calls that you need to make every day. As a quick reminder, this integration was not built or maintained by the phone burner team. It was built by the team over at the marketer's toolkit for go high level. They built it, they maintain it. So if you do have any questions, please reach out to them so that they can help you better take advantage of this integration. 
And that's it for this demo. That's how easy it is for you to initiate a phone burner dial session from within the Go High Level system. I hope this helps you and your team get more done using the power of phone burner with Go High Level. Thanks again and happy dialing.